Sure. Benny, Joe Biden's poll numbers are good. And I know everybody's going to yell about poll numbers. And yes, poll numbers suck. Trump voters are always going to be under polled because we live in a shame society. I get that. But I look at Joe Biden and he can't function. He cannot fully function for whatever reason. I, I'm not a doctor. For whatever reason, everybody can see it. I have two eyes. Why is he holding steady? Is it just people are angry? People are scared? What is it? So if you have a candidate like Joe Biden, who is absolutely, the wheels are coming right off. And it's, I don't know if it's early onset dementia. I don't know uh, if it's just a crippling uh, lack of IQ, but, uh, and we also found out from Intel reports that Osama bin Laden uh, was trying to take out Obama because he thought Joe Biden would be very, uh, would not be a great president uh, today, th this, this week. I don't know, but if you have a candidate like that, this is quite the blessing because you get to lock him in a basement. Uh, you get to lock Joe Biden right in the basement. You get to give him giant cue cards and you get to do major softball <laughs> interview playtimes with people like Al Gore and Jimmy Kimmel. And they, you know, Joe Biden can just bat the yarn around in his basement and smile for the cameras and uh, you know you don't actually have to have him out on the stump which is a horrifying thing because when you put joe biden out on the stump he says thing he calls women dog face pony soldiers he says to an overweight man look fat uh he challenges people to push-up contests <laughs> and he sniffs a shocking amount of hair lucky though for you jesse you don't have a lot of hair to sniff and so you would not be victim number one for Joe, and he probably wouldn't be, he'd have to get a stepladder to, to sniff you. Mm -hmm. All right, you know what? These, these kind of petty shots are unnecessary. Benny, I also think this kind of spending is unnecessary. I get people disagree. Most of the people on the right disagree with me, but I'm stunned. I, we have estimates at $3.7 trillion deficits. I, I, I understand that people want the government to do some things. I'm a bit out of the mainstream on that. But, bro, we were at $23 trillion debt before this whole disaster. What are we going to be on the back end? How do we claw our way out of this daggone thing? Right. I think it was a very wise man on Twitter that tweeted earlier today that no country in history has ever spent them their way out of a crisis. Uh, I don't can't remember exactly what handle it was, <laughs> but it's really, really, I mean, smart, wise. He's very handsome too. <laughs> a philosopher of the internet. It's true though. Uh, you know. So so where does this come from? They're not. This money isn't being borrowed you know it's not being borrowed from anywhere it's being printed that's how you get trillions of dollars you print them and you print them and you just pray to god that the economy kicks back up and that you're able to keep this sucker going but the issues have been that there have been so many disruptions in our supply chain and in the way that we do commerce uh, you're seeing reports coming out that hundreds of thousands of businesses will close that people will refer to online shopping and buying uh, probably permanently now for a ton of our economy. It's just going to be a massive, massive restructure of how we do business. And then if you put any type of inflation on top of that for our currency, it's not going to mean very good things for the American family uh, and for the American worker. So yes, a tenuous situation right now, the biggest fix is going to be depending on the thing that has never failed us, which is capitalism, and putting Americans back to work, allowing Americans to go back to work, and allowing our economy to start humming like a top, like it was all the way up to February of this year. Hey, thanks so much for watching The First on YouTube. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and like and subscribe. You heard me, like it, subscribe. You'll get a lot more of it and a lot more of me.